What was the dumbest rule your school enforced? In elementary, they banned running in early. No running on the playground either. They also banned all ball sports. And would take your ball if you took it in from home. And they would put it in the gym cupboard to be used during pet class physical education. Keep in mind that these were for 11 year olds. So everyone ignored the rules and so many were in detention I'm not sure what we called it. That they had to drop the rule and nothing came of that. But the second rule about ball sports. Well it turned out that one of the kids in the year below me had bought an aside soccer ball by a really famous player and the school took it and kept it. We found out because there was a very angry mother screaming at the secretary that they effectively stole something that could be worth upwards of 1000. They obviously gave back the ball and stopped stealing them after that. Who would have thought that stealing from little kids was a bad idea? Conservative Christian College. A group of us played Age of Empires one weekend. They didn't like it and called a meeting. Everyone involved got misdemeanors on their records. There was nothing in the handbook about it being against the rules. The only person that didn't get any punishment was the son of the president. Even though he was just as involved as the rest of us. Was quite interesting explaining the write up on my record when I transferred. You got a misdemeanor for what? Edit they made it a rule after the fact and did this several other times with things such as nail polish or radio control helicopters. Sounds like a bunch of pathetic adults who have no real power in their lives so they have to conjure it up over some young students. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. School added thumbprint scanners at gates of school which counted as registration needless to say I would just walk to school scan my thumb and walk back home with them none the wiser was a great few months until they noticed. In my freshman year of high school we had a terrible vandalism problem. The bathrooms would be broken in various ways almost constantly, in a stroke of pure genius. The staff decided that any bathroom that was vandalized would be closed for the week on first offense, the quarter for second, and permanently on the third offense. They took back the rule after closing every bathroom on day one. Locked bathroom doors in the period after lunch. You should have gone at lunch. Also banged duct tape accessories back when that was a trend. They said it was gang activity. We weren't allowed to play tag football at lunch. Only frisbee. When I asked the principal what the difference was. He responded with a sarcastic tone. A football is round and a frisbee is a flat disc. He left the school later that year. Went to another school and a few years later was brought up on charges for failing to report the abuse of a student by a teacher. Took all the doors off the men's room bathroom stalls because of vandalism for two months. The boys in our school were not allowed to have hair that exceeded the width of a finger. Our principal used to check that by running her fingers through their hair. If their hair was long enough to outgrow her fingers. They were sent to a barber shop opposite to our school for a haircut. Dumb and weird. My school banned backpacks at one point. To protest boys just didn't bring anything with them to class and girl brought really big purses. One of the funnier things that happened because of it was an interaction between my friend and a teacher. Teacher where's your book? Friend in my backpack. Teacher and where is that? Friend at home. Prom was a mandatory lockdown for the night in order to avoid students going to parties after prom. Prom was held at various house parties across town instead. In 6th grade they switched out all student chairs for large rubber stability balls. There was a strict no bouncing rule. It was a disaster. Editors was in Arizona in the late 90s for those asking. The idea was to promote better posture. This wouldn't work with any age group let alone 6th graders. No backpacks to class, but purses were allowed. Girls started carrying around purses big enough to be considered a backpack. Guys got pissed started carrying purses too. I'd wear my backpack on my front and call it a front pack. A really big fanny pack. Circa 1994-1997. No hugging. Like at all. First offense was a write-up. Second was detention. Third was in school suspension. 
you couldn't wear any kind of head items that were gang colors red or blue this included hairbands, scrunches, beads in your hair, ribbons anything. I got in trouble for wearing a blue hairband with white polka dots. We had to wear belts. Someone snitched that people weren't wearing belts under their sweaters. And they actually checked. And a bunch of people got detentions. Stupid. No touching the walls. They restored a building with historic value using, among other things, period appropriate paints. They then opened the planned primary school there and proceeded to try to get children to respect the restoration work. So we had a few years of benches in the hallways, being 10 centimeters from the wall and children being reprimanded for leaning against the wall before the faculty gave up. My high school mascot was Daniel Boone holding a musket. A kid wore a Guns N' Roses shirt to school and was told he had to change shirts because of the pistols on the shirt. He pointed out the hypocrisy of the school mascot and they changed everything. The mascot was switched to holding a flagpole instead. Every instance of the mascot was changed from the multiple signs outside and around the school to the giant picture in the middle of our basketball stadium. Holden. You're a ducking legend for this. No jackets. They think we may hide things like phones or bombs there. No brand name anything in the lunchroom. So you couldn't bring a small snack pack of say, Doritos. In your lunch it had to be in a clear plastic sandwich bag. Also no food or beverage allowed in class this included bottled water. As an adult I now know the terrible headaches and migraines I suffered in my teen years were caused by dehydration and not being allowed to drink water during the day, unless from the nasty water fountain. Can't wear too many matching shirts, because you could be a gang. This was in regards to a kid with cancer wanting to make a bunch of shirts. My high school was in Buttock, Nebraska. American schools seem to be obsessed with the idea of gangs. Involved in a fight. Same punishment regardless of fault and this led to more dangerous fights due to everyone just going for it. Saw people use chairs, cricket bats and anything just to hand. Getting expelled from the school was really hard as it was the last chance school in the area and after that it was the special reform school. We were all given these ugly planners at the beginning of the school year, with a few pages at the back filled with hall passes. If you didn't have your planner, or if all your boxes were filled, you weren't allowed to go to the bathroom. And no, you couldn't buy a new planner, or borrow one from your friend. The only excuse you had, was if you had a doctor's note, but no doctor is going to give a note for an upset stomach caused by the school lunch. They banned wristwatches. No one knows what the reason was. That's when you go full flavor flav, and wear a timepiece around your neck instead. In grade 8, we were banned from standing in circles at recess because of potential scandalous activity going on in the middle. We stood in squares instead. For a while in my school groups of kids would stand in circles shouting fight, 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 until a teacher came to break up the non-existent fight. God we were assholes. My high school banned shirts that had the cover of Rush's album Signals, an album popular at the time which features an image of a dog sniffing a fire hydrant. They considered it scatological, because the dog was about to pee on it. This struck the entire student body as extremely stupid, and roughly one, two of the student body picked a day to wear that shirt. We won. A girl and a boy couldn't sit together. The school employed disciplinarians to roam around the school and monitor this activity. If found, you will get a reprimand. If found repeating the offense, you get sent to the principal office and of continuing, then eventually escalated to the parents etc. No fist bumps. The reason for this is that kids might accidentally punch the other person in the face. Edit the school I went to was in a pretty rough area so there were a lot of incidents where kids ended up getting into fights. How stupid do you have to be to punch someone in the ducking face amidst a fist bump? shoes are to be worn as the manufacturer intended. I have no clue who was wearing their shoes incorrectly or how, but this line, verbatim, was repeated to us over the morning announcements when there were perceived infractions at various points throughout the year. 
middle school had banned salt and pepper from being used in the cafeteria, claimed it was too unhealthy, still sold Mountain Dew in the vending machines. Around 2011, 2012 my school tried to ban yoga pants, because it's easier to see the butts. A ton of guys started showing up in yoga pants to protest. Some because they liked seeing the butts and some, because girls had way too many dress code regulations already. My school got on the news, and embarrassed the administrator so much, that the rule was reversed. We couldn't wear winter clothing jackets, hats, gloves in class, because they were gang symbols. This was a small farm town in Wisconsin. Besides obviously having no gangs, it was ducking cold, even indoors, in the winter. But clearly wearing warm clothing, is something only gangs do. Suspension as a punishment for skipping school. Don't want to come to school. Well now you can't. Until next week. Edit and no tank tops in a desert climate. Because shoulders are too sexy for school. Our school banned hugging, because it was erotic. As you can imagine. The boys at school, started giving each other very sensual high fives for the rest of the year. They banged hats, because hats can be used to signify gang colors. The only major crime group in our area was the Hex Angels and they certainly weren't having people wear hats for children to signify their allegiance. It was so bad a few years, after I graduated I came back, to volunteer as a chaperone for a school trip as a favor for my favorite teacher. The principal saw me wearing a beanie from across school he literally sprinted half a mile to chase me down, and tell me to take off the hat. When I told him I wasn't a student, and didn't have follow the dress code he said either take off the hat, leave or he'd call the cops. It wasn't the actual day of the trip, just had to show up, to get the itinerary and stuff, so I just said, duck you, I'm out, idiots, oblivion guards be like. No playing on the mini golf course. Due to the school, having mineral rights on oil land in the mid 70s. Our school system had huge amounts of money. One thing they did, was get 9 concrete animals on the playground for miniature golf. These looked like a lot of fun to play on for kids. And they were concrete, so they were indestructible. They took up one. Three of the absolute center of the playground. We could not touch them, play on them, or get anywhere near them. In Pei we broke out the putters once in all of grade school. A few years later they had the high school seniors take them out with sledgehammers. Probably a stupid liability issue. Kids fall off stuff. No backpacks in the halls. Oh yeah. Because carrying all of our books between classes was a great ducking idea. Plus hardly any time between classes to exchange books meant carrying multiple classes things at once. Edit looks like this is the norm for quite a few people and school districts. Doesn't make the rule any less stupid. But to be fair it depends on your school. My middle school was 8 or so classes a day with 3 minutes between classes in a large school. Where classes could be far away from your locker. My high school was 4 classes and a much smaller building. But my friend's high school was similar to my middle school situation. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 